welcome to our quick 30 minute weight training. I'm here a few minutes early, so if you're watching this video recorded, you may want to skip ahead two minutes. <laughs> um, today we're going to use the same as the always, heavier weights if you have, and lighter weights. <clears throat> and I'm just going to give a moment or two for people to join us. If you don't have light weights, that's okay. You can use heavy weights. Okay, I'll show you options and alternatives for that. So as we wait just a minute or two, we'll wait probably another minute, um, you can get your weights uh, set up, you can get your sweat towel, and you can also get your mat ready. So I try to keep the mat work for the end so that we just on the mat and, and that's sort of where we end. So we don't have to get up, down, up, down, since it's such a quick class. So we are gonna be on the, on the mat at the end. Uh, we're going to be doing a chest press on the mat with an option of a crunch if you like. Um, some tricep dips. Yes! So excited! And then some push-ups. But don't worry, we're going to make it fun and exciting, okay? So, <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to grab some water. Get your favorite playlist ready to go. Hit play. And we'll get started in about 20 seconds. Our warm-up is pretty quick, it's five minutes. Because the warm-up's so quick, I always suggest when we start the first round of weighted exercises, you use a lighter weight if you have the luxury, okay? So that's just to give your body an, another round to warm up. You can do that for the, as many rounds as you need to. We're going to get started. I'm going to set the timer. Great. And we're just going to start with some knee lifts. So you're just going to alternate lifting your knees up. You can do some shoulder rolls here, getting your shoulders up, down, and back. Keep your shoulders rolled down and back. Keep the chest lifted. And start to just pull the knee in towards the chest. So this is a work at your own pace class as well. You could work to the beat of your music. <laughs> Pull it in. Good. And then just start to rotate. So we just got opposite arm moving towards the opposite knee. Lift that knee high. Turn the chest. Scoop your belly. Pull your belly up and into your spine here. Reaching the opposite arm back. We'll do three more each way. So we just go down into squat, arms reach, chest high, and up. Now we are going to do this exercise later with a weight. And when you add the weight, it's going to be much harder. So if you have a heavy weight later, you would keep your elbows bent as you squat back. If you have a light weight and you're able to, you would reach your arms all the way long. So just practice this move here. So squat with that frontal raise. We'll do about three more. Tuck your chin. As you sit down, chest staying up, and one. Good. Let's do some squat hip rolls. So you can reach your arms and roll your knee around. Reach and roll. As your arms reach forward, you're trying to keep your shoulders from down and back to keep the chest open. Okay, let's do three more. Some side-stepping lunges. We'll do them slow to start. Reach down for the floor. Open the chest to the back. Come up and switch to the other side. Big step up. Reach for the floor. Look back to your hand if that helps you. And up. Keep the belly pulled tight. And we will do one more each side after this. Stretching, trying to open the body, reaching for the back. Last one. Good. So here we are. We're just going to do some heel digs. Flex your foot, heel dig. Arms are going to reach forward as you dig. Now listen, we're going to go into a little bit of a squat. 
So instead of just the heel dig, push your bum and your hips backwards. Reach the arms forward. And we'll have a nice stretch through the back of the As we keep moving, you'll get the heart rate up and the body wants. Flex the foot. Sit back. Good. For four more. And three. Last two. Keep chest lifted. One more each side. Good. Come into a wide squat. And we're going to do a squat and a lunge. We're going to do this later with the weight. Right after we do that squat frontal raise. Pivot both your feet. You don't have to drop low in the lunge. But turn your whole body to the side you're lunging. Add the arm reach. And in. And reach. And in. One more each way. Good. Single leg deadlifts. So you're going to bring one leg down and arm reaches back. Alternate sides here. We're just going to do two each way to just test the balance. Try to reach your leg long, your spine long, and open the chest as you come down. <laughs> I had to hop there to stop myself from falling. One more here. Good. So go into a hip hinge. Arms reach down, arms reach wide. Open the chest. Bring your arms behind you. Grab your hands, clasp if you can. Reach your arms back and rise up. We'll do that again. Hinge, arms reach wide. Arms reach back, clasp the arms, hands together and extend up. One more time. This time we're gonna come down and do some windmills. So we're gonna have some weights later. You're in a hinge position, long spine, and one arm is gonna lift and you're rotating the chest center. If you have light weights and you would be comfortable with lifting the whole arm, you can. Otherwise, you keep your elbows soft. Now, don't move the hips here and don't move the knees as you do these windmills. So let's do four more each way. Three. You can look at your arm that's coming up and remember to keep those elbows soft and the knees still. And one more each way. Scoop the belly. Good. And we're going to begin. The first exercise you're going to do, you're going to need your medium or your heavy weight. So we're going to step back into a lunge and press three times. After we've done three presses, we step in, arms can close together, and we do the other side. Right after that, we go to some rows. Regular row, wide row. Regular row, wide row. We drop one weight, and we do those single leg deadlifts. Okay, you ready? So it's one minute, 45 seconds, and then one minute. So grab that medium or heavy weight, whatever you want to start with, and we've got our first round here, one minute. So you ready? Let's begin. Step back, three presses, one, step in to switch sides. So knees are about 90-90, and you can always take the lunge out and again. Straight down if you can, and I'm pressing my weight forward of my head. Trying to keep the belly in. And use your breath to help you here. Maybe tuck the chin. Almost done. Last one here. Hinge, regular row, and then wide row. So pull the, the weights to your ribs, widen your elbows. 45 seconds here. Squeeze those shoulder blades, keep the chest lifted, long spine, tucking the chin. After this, 30 seconds each side for those single leg deadlifts. That's going to be ideal to work the glutes and the leg of that standing leg. So we've got 10 seconds here.
last one. You can lower one weight with me if you want to, and we go straight into those single leg deadlifts. If you can, and you want the challenge, you can keep your foot off when you lift up. And of course, you just try to square everything to the best of your ability. Soft knee on that supporting leg. Last one. Switch weight, 30 seconds on the side. Remember, if you want that challenge, you're looking to keep that foot just hovering on the ground and you return up, scoop the belly, lift the chest. Almost done here. Two more to go. Come on, last one. Down up. Okay, recover. We're doing the same thing again. We're going to have a little recovery. If you would like, increase your weight load. Otherwise, you're sticking with the same one. So get ready. We'll recover here for a little bit longer. About 15 more seconds. Round two. Lunges and we'll begin in three, two, one. So you can rack your weights up right over your shoulders, open your elbows a little bit as you press back, three presses. Step in, elbows can come front. One minute here. But the good thing is we're alternating legs. <laughs> seconds. All right, switch over to your hinge for your regular row and your wide row. If for some reason the wide row doesn't work for you, just stick with regular. 45 seconds here. Pull the belly in. Almost done. Ten seconds. Stay with me. Pull that belly in again. Okay. One weight can go down. Single leg deadlift. 30 seconds each side. Bring in that shoulder back. This arm, you can bring that thumb up to the ceiling. You just try to open that chest. Almost done, guys. Here, two more. Come on, last one. Switch sides. Let's go straight to it. 30 seconds. After this, we've got recovery again. Ah, oh, lost my balance. <laughs> Come on. Three more. Two. Last one. Recover. How'd you do? We've got one more round. Okay? Alright, so recover. Grab some water. I think this is the hardest set, this one. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it depends on your body. But those lunges are tough. Alright, so we have about five more seconds to recover. Get your weights ready. 
One minute. We'll begin in three, two, one. We're going to go back on the opposite side this time. Open your arms and chest up. Let's go. Okay, if you want more work in the legs, bend the back knee so you have 90 degrees. Remember, you can always offer to take the lunge completely out. Maybe we'll work a little bit faster <laughs> this round. Oh, 15 seconds. I was trying to do a quick time check. If your shoulders are heated, Perfect time. All right, come over for your hinge, 45 seconds. Wide row, narrow row. So we just squeeze at the top of the hold for a second. Sweeping the belly. Maybe you can tuck the chin in. And maybe can we speed this up a little bit? Ten seconds. Guys, one more single leg bend left. I'm going to go on this side. This is our last round. Are you happy? I am. Long spine. Come on, shoulders draw back. Maybe you can also go a little bit faster. Almost there. Almost there. Guys, one more. Switch sides. Let's finish. Thirty seconds. Where everything? Are you trying? I'm trying to. <laughs> Come on, three more. Two more. One. Done. Okay. Next round. We're going to do take recovery. And as you recover, I'm going to explain. We're going to do this exercise. The squat frontal raise for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds is over, we're gonna go right into the squat lunge. Your weight can stay out, or you're gonna pull it back in. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Right after that, we go to tricep kickbacks, and we're doing reciprocating, which means one and then the other. It doesn't matter, you can change it. 30 seconds, we go right into overhead tricep extension. So bring your body into that nice alignment. And then we recover and we do it again, okay? So I think we've got enough recovery. So you probably want to grab a medium-sized weight here. And for the tricep extensions, I don't know, could be your medium to heavy. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we'll figure it out as we go. But I think medium is about right. Okay, so you ready? We start with that squat. Frontal raise. 30 seconds, remember. And we begin in three, two, and one. So squat and arms is up. Remember, if you don't have the luxury of a medium or a lighter weight, just bend your elbows, sit your bum back, chest is lifted. Another option is to completely take out the squat, right? So you just do the frontal raise. Chest stays up. Press through the whole foot, or at least the middle of the foot as you come up. Okay, here we go. Widen up your feet, squat, and lunge. Remember, you can take your weight and lower it into your chest on the squat. If you can, keep it up. Remember, you're pivoting. You're lifting your whole foot, turning it towards the direction of your lunge. We've got seven seconds.
time. Alternating, or sorry, reciprocating tricep kickback. So here we bend, and extend and bend and glide. Now, as you bend your arm, press your elbow away from you. As you extend your arm, try your best to lengthen all the way. We're only here for 30 seconds, remember? And then we go to those tricep overhead extensions. Three, two, one. Come up, arm come up, and overhead tricep extension. If you need to take a break anytime, but we're here for 30 seconds. So you try and keep your elbows close to your ears. After this is recovery, so two minutes in total, time check, two minutes, yes, <laughs> all right, how'd you do, quick recovery, all right, you ready, we're going to do that again, so get ready, three, Two and one. Front squat with the frontal raise. Sitting back and lifting the leg. You can tuck your chin a little bit. So you're trying really hard here as you lift your weight. And remember, you can bend your elbows to not let your shoulders up, creep up into your ears. So try to just gently draw them back around your back. Time check. One more. All right. Wide on your squat. Lunge. Remember to bend your arm as you come into the squat if you need to. Otherwise, keep it out there. Shoulders back. Chest is up. We're almost past, well, actually 10 seconds here. Three, two, grab your other leg for your tricep kickbacks. No separate taken. One and then the other. Arms are long. Arms are long. You can actually try to hug your uh, ribs with your elbows and with your arms. 30 seconds here. We've got eight, seven, six. Overhead tricep extensions. <laughs> it's nice after we do those tricep kickbacks. I feel that immediately. I hope you do too. Come on, almost done. I'll do time check. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Okay. Grab a drink of water. Yes, we're doing one more round. <laughs> okay. All right, so one more round, and then yes, and then we're going to move on. All right, so grab your weight. I'm going to set the timer. We've got about 30 seconds in between for recovery. You ready? And let's begin. Squat frontal raise. Last time. Last 30 seconds, okay? And then we'll move on completely. <laughs> Straight the belly. Three seconds. Last one. Hold it, widen, <laughs> lunge, squat, lunge, squat. Remember, you can always bring the weight in. Nice deep breaths. Ten seconds. Yes, <laughs> we're almost through. Reciprocating tricep kickbacks, 
elbows draw back, hug your body, and then one more than the other. Nice deep breath. Five seconds, and then our finale. Overhead tricep extension. <sighs> oh man, that was hard, that first rep. <sighs> Only 30 seconds. <sighs> what do you think about when it starts to get hard? Or you think about how hard it is? Or could you take your mind and think about maybe softening the knees, scooping the belly, deepening the breath. Time check. <laughs> Done. We did a few extra seconds there. Is that okay? All right. As you recover, next round is windmill with a curtsy lunge. So you're probably going to want to have your light weights. For the windmill, you're in a hinge position again, and you're leaving with your elbow. You're rotating the chest, but you're keeping the knees and the hips still. Right from the windmill, we're going to go into a curtsy lunge, option to press or just rack the weights. Okay? So I'm going to take my lighter weights because I'm going to do big arm, a big range of motion on those windmills. Whatever works better for you. Keep the elbows soft if you have heavy weights, okay? So we're going to begin. I think we've had enough time to recover. Three, two, one. Hinge your uh, feet, hip distance, hip distance apart and rotate. And remember, this one, it's easy to get hurt. So make sure that you're comfortable with a long arm if that's what you're doing. If it helps you, try to squeeze your feet into the ground and you're like squeezing the knees towards each other to activate up the back of the leg. I know you're wondering how long we're going for because I didn't tell you. 45 seconds. And we are already on 40 seconds, so five more. All right, straight to those curtsy lunges. Remember, you're just racking your weights here. If you don't want the lunge, just take it out. You know, step back. It's a balance challenge, just the curtsy step. You don't have to go low. Did you put those presses in? <laughs> I think I'm going to change my weights for the presses next time. So I have at least something that feels a little bit challenging. What about you? <laughs> Maybe you're going to lighten them. <laughs> time check. Three. Come on, two. Come on, one more. Done. Okay. Recover. Get ready to go for round two. This is our last standing set, okay? And then we're going to hit the mat and do our chest press, the tricep dips of those finale push up Supermans. Yes, car weights. All right, ready? <laughs> Let's begin. One hinge and windmill the other. Remember to keep those elbows soft, okay? If it helps you, you can look at that hinge or that elbow that's rotating up, that's moving up. Two seconds. Five seconds. Okay, curtsy lunge. Option to just stack the weights or option to press. For the curtsy lunge, the goal is to keep the chest square to the front. 
because it's natural to want to open the chest over to the side. No more. No more to do that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Yes, we have one more round. <laughs> and then we move to the mat, okay? So quick recovery, deep breaths, sweat out if you need it. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Last round, okay? Winner. So it really doesn't matter how long your arm is. I like the feeling of the long arm, but I have really light weights. So please be careful. Turn that chest if you can. About, we've got 20 seconds here. Don't just let your belly hang out here. Pull it in tight. Pull it in really tight to support that spine. Okay? Curtsy lunge. Last round. Add a press if you can. Fifteen seconds. Finale of this of these two exercises. One more. Done. Okay. As you recover, I'm going to show you what's next. Neck work. Chest press. I'm going to give you the option of adding a crunch. It's going to be totally optional. So you're going to be down on your back with your weights. Your weights are going to be right over your chest. You're going to come down and you're going to press. To add, the legs will be lifted and as we press we bring the weights to the feet and you crunch your core. Don't look at your feet, look at your belly. Lower, lift. Straight into tricep dips. Okay? And then push up supermans. So you ready? We're going to begin. Grab the heavy weights, get your mat ready. We've got 45 seconds, three exercises, and only two rounds this time, and then we're done. <laughs> so get ready and begin. So I'm going to give you the first option, which is to not do anything else with the legs, but I do want you scooping your belly and not just letting your abdominals hang out there. Option, lift the legs, bend the knee, press up, and crunch, looking down. Remember, if your weights are very heavy, you don't want to do the crunch. You don't want to lift your head. You want to keep it down on the mat. Guys, you've got about 10 seconds to go. Come on into that crunch. If you're doing it, lift up high. Look down at your pubic bone. Last one. All right, rock up. Hands are next to you, facing any direction that's comfortable. Bend the knees, and then you're going to bend and unbend the elbows. Now, because tricep dips <laughs> are challenging, we're going to do three. So one, two, three. You can rest, release. If you want to, we'll do three with an ankle tap to switch things up. So three, two, one. Tap the ankle. If you don't want the ankle tap, you do the little rest, bringing your bum down onto the mat. Three, two, one. Last one. We're ready. Okay, push up Superman. So come on over into your self or push up position. 
tuck your toes. We're going to come down and up. And then we're going to go all the way down, release the arms and extend the legs. You can push up, up, or you can come up, down, up, down, up, Superman. Reach your arms, reach your legs, tuck your toes, come up. If it gets too hard, you can always bring the elbows wider, the hands wider, all the way down. Extend. Last one. All the way down, extend, reach, and you're done. Okay, quick recovery. Final round. 45 seconds, three exercises, and then we're done, okay? So get ready. Yes, you're ready. Lay down, grab your weights, come and start in three, two, begin. So regular chest press or add that crunch. And I should have said this, but as we lift the legs, I'm actually trying to um, lengthen the legs up to the ceiling to really try to get some deep core activation. This is our final round. Remember, there's only two here. Of course, you can do one extra one on your own. Just about 10 seconds to go. Okay, tricep dips. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, set, lift. Three, two, one, ankle tap. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm going to face this way a little bit. Come on, I'm in it with you. We did lots of triceps today. Woohoo! Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nice. Come on, five seconds. Come on, let's do one more set. Three, two, one. Okay, push up, down up, down up. Super one. Okay, ready? Down, up, down, up, down, Superman. Whew. Down, up, down, up. Oh, reach your arms, reach your legs. Are you tired? Are you fatigued? A little bit at least. Oh, even though it's only 30 seconds. Oh, man. Guys, last one. <laughs> I couldn't even get up there. And push yourself up into a child's pose, you're done. Deep breath, relax. Say something nice to your body. Like, well done. Hip stretch, take a nice big step forward, just release your weight to the front. Reach your arm up, reach over, a little bit of a side bend. Hinge back like those heel digs we did in the beginning with the single leg squat. Do you remember those? Stretch the back of the leg, switch sides, step in, sink, arm, arm reaches up, little side bend. Hinge back. And you're done. You guys, thanks for joining me today. If you want to, tomorrow we'll be doing, Sarah will be doing Insanity at 8. I'm doing Body Combat at 9. And I'm doing Mac Pilates at 10. So I hope to see you guys again from there. Sunday is Sarah with yoga and Jenny with Zumba. And it's in the reverse order. <laughs> All right, so have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for joining me. Bye.